Kansas City was a great place to see a multitude of famous railroads. Many seen here are long ago merged into the super roads of the present day. The Burlington Northern was a merger partner with the old Santa Fe a year earlier. These are the last views of roads like the Cotton Belt, Southern Pacific, the Chicago and Northwestern, and the Great Santa Fe. Kansas City is in Missouri and Kansas State's separated by the Missouri River. It has a complex network of tracks and yards that we untangle and explain using our in-house created maps. The Kansas City Southern was still an independent road and remained so for another 25 years after these 1996 scenes. Union Pacific was a big factor here from the 19th century. When BNSF was formed from the old BN and the Santa Fe Railroads in 1995, it would take a few years for all the old famous colors to be repainted. Also, many diesels that were older would soon be retired in their old colors. The Santa Fe Warbonnet colors were very high on the list of color schemes that were admired and now greatly missed. Our maps are numerous in this one hour and 52 minute documentary video. They were created to clearly illustrate the complexity on your screen. This map shows many of the lines that run to the east through the state of Missouri. You can see the details such as the original historic owner of these principal lines. Other maps show lines off the past, such as the Missouri Pacific that connected to Kansas City that merged into the Union Pacific Line in 1980. This map shows the lines running west of the two Kansas cities in the state of Kansas. Let's drop down to Bonner Springs in a beautiful park setting to catch a UP train with a Chicago and Northwestern trailing diesel. This UP train is running in some fine countryside that features expansive areas of crops and cows in abundance. The SP was becoming just another part of the Union Pacific in our 1996 time frame in these historic scenes. The merger also dragged the St. Louis Southwestern, a.k.a. the Cotton Belt, into the same super merger. This map shows the area called the Bottoms, due to its low elevation and floods from the Missouri River. It's a great place to visit with train horns echoing in a concrete and brick canyon. Model railroaders build scale kits that are just like these in this area. 
The next train is a hotshot cotton belt train with the SSW on the nose. Another UP captive now. This is the 2,341 mile long Missouri River, the longest in the U.S. It flows into the Mississippi River a bit north of St. Louis, Missouri. This is Camden, Missouri. The Missouri River is about two and a half miles south of here. The population here today is about 170. Part of the video includes identification of various diesel locomotives. The lead unit is a rare 1978-built GP40X, one of 10 owned by the Santa Fe. 3,500 horsepower from only 16 cylinders was a milestone at the time. This bridge is an engineering marvel. It has two decks with two tracks on each deck. It is capable of lifting this massive assembly over 10 feet above any possible bad flood. When built, the upper deck was for passenger trains to soar over the yards seen below. The lower deck was for freight. Since those early days, both levels served freight traffic of a number of railroads. This video is one hour and 52 minutes long. It is packed with things that have vanished. Relive those colorful days. You will want to watch all of these epic scenes over and over again.